Buenas a todo el mundo. Hello to everyone. Um, in December, there's going to be some festivities taking place on High Street, and here we have people who are organizing it and supporting it. I would like to start with the mayor, Mayor Garcia. Uh, what does this toy drive mean to you and the city of Holyoke? Well, it's opportunities like this that brings the community together and celebrate together with neighbors is always uh, a, a positive thing for our community. Uh, it's, what, it's what helps build pride. And if I don't have pride, I have no community. And so it's always um, uh, humbling for me to see my community step up <clears throat> and organize events like this to contribute back to the community. And so I appreciate the leadership that's coming together uh, to organize this tour drive so that our, our children on December 22nd uh, get a, a, a good holiday experience. Uh, Jasmine Acevedo, you organized this. What inspired you to put this event together with community members and businesses on High Street? What inspires me is like bringing joy, especially to the children and to the families, that they can feel that there's a group of people that, that cares. Um, you know, it, sometimes it could be a challenge, especially during holiday seasons, to buy gifts and stuff like that. So that's when groups like this step into. Uh, Mayor, can you share your thoughts on the collaboration between local businesses and the city for this initiative? I think that, you know, f folks got to understand the fabric of our city is community working together. And community is uh, uh, varies, whether if you're a business owner, a resident, a homeowner, a, 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 a leader or a worker in the community, uh, we all have a shared responsibility to, to take care, to work together and take care of each other and build our community. And, um, you know, I was born and raised in the city of Holyoke. Holyoke is an extremely compassionate city, and I grew up benefiting from Holyoke's compassion. I was one of those kids going to these events uh, back in the day, and to this day, community leaders and um, uh, business owners come together and still do that. Um, you know, we see it with the Paper City Food Festival that's coming up. We saw it with the Fiesta Patronales. You see it during St. Patrick's green season. Uh, businesses and community leaders coming together to um, celebrate the respective subject area here. We're talking about the holiday season, Christmas. And, um, you know, again, just very humbling to see uh, people to share that kind of uh, pride and joy in this city that we all love. And I know that, uh, well, we all know just how many flags get raised in front of City Hall. That's right. Uh, the Puerto Rican flag, the Colombian flag, the Polish flag is going to be going up, uh, the LGBTQ flag, um, that it's all for building community, that we're all here together to work together to make life richer for all of us. Este has mean, te pregunto en español o en inglés? Okay, um, what do you hope, how do you hope the community will respond to this? My hope is that the community will respond in an enthusiastic and generosity um, way, generous way. Mm -hmm. um, we need people to work into it. We need um, donations. It doesn't matter what type of donation, your time, your talent, um, like gifts. So we need lots of people to work. We are expecting, because I need to say we're expecting, <laughs> A lot of children so <laughs> yeah. we need um, all the help all the help that the community can bring it will be welcome and este, where can people how do they get in touch with you to say I have toys or I have time that I like to volunteer how do people get in touch with you um, we have the website which is www.christmasonhighstreet.com um, we have a wow. Facebook page we have emails they can contact Don and Phillips they can go to Deja Bu Night Spa, they can go to City Pizza, Cuba Supermarket, um, also San Juan Bakery. We have so far four drop-offs location, and hopefully more people can be added. Can you explain the tax-deductible aspect of monetary contributions? I can. We're working on this event through the auspices of Springfield Together, Inc., which is a nonprofit. 
which has been working out of the Springfield area with local public schools and uh, the police department and uh, doing many, many things, uh, trick-or-treat events, uh, Halloween parties, huge Christmas parties for children throughout the Forest Park area and the general Springfield area. So we've taken it to Holyoke. We ran into Jasmine and Carmen and uh, they inspired us to join them with this event and it's got a great potential and hopefully this is the first of an annual event a very serious event that, that's going to bring a lot of joy to those underprivileged children and uh, who would be grateful for that gift that they received that day on sunday the 22nd of december we're very proud to be part of this especially after listening to the mayor i'm much more inspired now than i was before i walked in here well mayor <laughs> I mean I that, too. I've never met him before. I've heard good things about him. And we have the honor of having a pastor in Dino here with her daughter, Leda, who I know not only talks, but walks the walk and does good things for a lot of people. And a very humble person, both of them. Okay. A lot Thank of you. kindness over there in that corner. As well as there is here with Carmen and... Oh, here uh, none. It's all Jasmine. there. Oh, I'm sorry. No. And the mayor. We're lucky to have these, these five. Ming, what was um, your role in organizing this event? For what have you been role, doing? Um, right now, I'm their assistant. I just sent out flyers, emails, um, word of mouth, phone calls. Everywhere I, can, everywhere I stand, I talk about it and to see if I get people to come in and, and donate and help us do make this uh, not just this year, but moving forward they get every year for these kids which is something that it's very dear to us um, and then over here if we can pass the microphone um, señora eh, cuál ha sido su, participa su participación en crear este evento bueno yo he participado en este tipo de eventos anteriormente porque lo hemos hecho en la iglesia y ha sido bien exitoso. También cuando lo han hecho en la comunidad, Ed Casey, los diferentes personas que, que dan actividades en la comunidad. Y yo le estaba diciendo a la joven que cuando ella me dé un flyer, nosotros podemos anunciarlo en el programa. Nosotros tenemos programas de la iglesia, uh -huh. promoverlo y radial. Programa radial. Yo sé que las personas lo escuchan, van a responder, porque me dicen en la calle que lo escuchan. Así que se van a enterar. Eh, ¿En cuál manera. estación radial? 104.9 FM, Radio Redentor. Y, ok, ¿y cómo se llama su programa? Tenemos tres programas, Manantiales de Agua, Levántate y Resplandece, y Hombre Bajo las Salas del Águila. Okay. Tenemos este programación los lunes, <risa> eh, Levántate y Resplandece, y Hombre Bajo las Salas del Águila de 6 a 7. Y uh -huh. los viernes de 9 a 10, Manantiales de Agua. En ese yo estoy siempre. Entonces usted, eh, ¿cuál ha sido su particip participación en crear este evento? Bueno, este, pues ella es mi mamá, Ajá. la pastora reverenda Carmen Andino, eh, mi nombre es Leida M. Andino, pues aquí pues el señor abogado Cornelius Phillips me extendió la invitación, ya que pues él sabe que nosotros trabajamos aquí con la comunidad a través de nuestra iglesia y pues estamos muy agradecidas por la invitación y estamos también pues dispuestas a ayudar en todo lo que podamos ayudar. Sí. ¿Qué? Okay. El abogado de nuestra iglesia. Ah, ok. <risa> ¿Por qué, por qué, por qué el, el collar eh, suyo es el único que está así brillando? No, oh. no sé, a lo mejor el, el botoncito que le di. Sí, este, como yo digo, ¿verdad? La Navidad es Cristo, ¿verdad? Para nosotros y, y es un... Es un placer ser partícipe de un evento así para llevarle alegría a nuestros niños de nuestra comunidad y todos los niños que se acerquen. Este, tengo dos preguntas más, una para ti, Jazmín, y una para el alcalde. Eh, Jazmín, eh, si entendí bien, uno puede hacer la donación de juguetes o de dinero en Cuba Market... Eh, o sea, ¿cómo? 
Las donaciones de dinero irían a Springfield together. Okay. Sí. Oh, vamos a darle el micrófono. Okay, so if people are making a donation of money, where do they go? They can make it to Springfield Together Inc. and we have an EIN number, a nonprofit number. Is that on the website? Yes, it is. All that information is there. Okay, and then where can people drop off toys? Let's Hasmin. talk about that now. You and Carmen. And that will be the locations that I just mentioned before, like um, the Jabu Night Spot, Old San Juan Bakery, Su Cuba Supermarket, City Visa, and hopefully more people can be added to the list. Maybe the city hall if you're there allows you to. Absolutely. City hall. <laughs> We're very grateful. Thank you. Yes. And to. Oh, la iglesia de ellos también. ¿Dónde está ubicada la iglesia de ustedes? 124, 126 Maple Street. Iglesia de Jesucristo Ministerio Agape. Okay. Church of Jesus Christ Agape Ministry. A mí me encanta. 124, 126 <laughs> Maple. <laughs> Maple Street, Horio, Massachusetts. Okay. Um, to close out, if that's right, it has me, Mayor, uh, you know that we live in a very uh, divided country, and the holidays are a way for all of us to come together, no matter what we believe. Um, what is your expectation? How will Holyoke este, come together? Because this is happening after very after the elections, which, which have been contentious? I think that's a great question. You know, obviously, as you're very aware, uh, our city of Hoyoke is very diverse. Different perspectives, cultures, languages, people speak, income, um, you name it. The, the, the economies are very diverse. And they say that there's strength in diversity, right? But do you know how hard it is to be a mayor of a very diverse community? Uh, you get one mayor, and it's important uh, for leadership that is in a very uh, diverse community, um, di very diverse country, no matter the leader, uh, that you are inclusive, you're adaptive, and you're preaching uh, words that keep people united and focused, because we're very quick to uh, react and divide and point fingers and blame um, and so I always try to remind people here for it I can never wrap my head around what's happening around the world and in the country but I know that I can make a difference here locally right and so I make sure in every opportunity I can uh, get um, is you know to, to be sure that you know we're preaching words that that keep people uh, together and, and united as Holyokers we celebrate our differences that's important I think we need to celebrate backgrounds, cultures, people need to know where they come from, uh, but also that we remain united as, as Americans and that we remain united as Hoyokers. And I do feel like Hoyok is, despite the political climate, we're pretty united here in the city. I like to keep my finger on the pulse. And, it, it, you know, um, uh, I'm very proud of my community uh, right now in this current um, uh, transition of, of, of leadership um, in our country. Um, so, you know, obviously the holidays are coming. It's certainly an opportunity for people uh, to uh, uh, come together. Um, you know, we will be having our tree lighting ceremony in front of City Hall, uh, I think the first week of December. That's gonna kick off the festivities for the month. Um, you know, obviously uh, what our friends are doing here on High Street for December 22nd. Um, among other events that are happening in between. Again, things that leadership in the community is doing to um, bring people together and, 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 you know, whether if it's breaking bread or just celebrating or whatever the case might be. So it's, it's uh, you know, we're gonna get through the November elections and then uh, I'm looking forward uh, for the day after election day our community reuniting as Hoyokers and focused on what we're going to do here locally um, for for each other and for the future of the city. Thank you, Mayor. Hasmin, you have the last word. Eh, esta inspiración que te llevó a crear este evento y organizarlo, eh, ¿cómo te llena? ¿Cómo te satisface eh, dar de tu corazón a la comunidad? Oh. That is a good question. That is something I always wanted to do. It's just I didn't have the tools to do it. 
um, now being a business owner opens the doors to reach more to people, to give more to the community. If I'm, be I'm being blessed, I want to bless others. Um, I think there's no, nothing that you can compare. I'm looking forward to just see those kids having the gift and those smiles and the family is coming together and enjoy. Sorry. <laughs> And just joy. I'm just looking forward for the joyful time. Like I said, it's, it's going to be a hard and difficult, or it has been difficult um, through the year, but I'm looking forward for, for that event. Uh, thank you, Hasmin and Carmen and everybody, uh, you and Mr. Mayor, for putting your energy into celebrating uh, a very joyous occasion for everybody, no matter what they believe. You know, seeing a child's eyes light up because yes. they are unwrapping a gift or tearing it open, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And I'm just going to make a summary in Spanish for the Spanish speaking sí. people. Okay. So, todo lo que estábamos hablando era que queremos hacer una, una recolecta de juguetes que va a tomar eh, desde el 15 de octubre hasta diciembre 22 y vamos a terminar en el 400 Block Street. Um, the High Street y ahí vamos a entregar los juguetes tenemos una actividad bien bonita para todos los niños para todas las familias que vengan y se unan y el propósito es traer ese gozo que representa la, la Navidad y, y la, las fiestas como otras personas le pueden llamar so, la, la principal razón es traer unidad a la comunidad y a otras personas y como comerciantes como um, ciudadanos unirnos y estar, decir presente. Así que cualquier cosita se pueden comunicar con nosotros, la información va a estar eh, disponible. Pues muchas gracias a todos ustedes. Thank you to everyone.